If you've been to any high school sporting event in the area, then you're probably familiar with Larry Dumbald's product. He is the man behind DNL Soft Pretzels. His pretzel nuggets have been fan favorites for more than a decade, but the entire enterprise was built on a failed business deal. A friend of mine from Virginia told me about this place in Harrisburg. So we checked it out and we thought it was good. So we asked if we were gonna do a uh, franchise of theirs, but then he wanted to sell to us. Uh, and then it turned around, she backed out of the deal like a week and a half before we were scheduled to open. Dumbald and his business partner quickly regrouped and DNL Soft Pretzels was born. Not, not, not making a pretzel before in my life, we looked around, looked in the internet, found a whole bunch of recipes and decided to uh, go into our own. However, it wasn't too long before Larry decided a proprietary recipe was in order. We started out slowly, worked with recipes, and then after about three weeks, I just canned that recipe and developed my own. That was September of 1999, and as their name implies, soft pretzels and nuggets were the primary product. They focused on the two basic flavors, salted and cinnamon. A happy accident in the kitchen completely changed the direction of DNL's business. The uh, lady that was helping me uh, put the cinnamon on before she baked them instead of after, and lo and behold, we created a new product. Dumbald has over 25 years of food service experience, so he realized that this new development was an avenue for growth. The rest was really just developing the uh, flavors by incorporating them into the product. Today, DNL has 20 to 25 different flavors of pretzel nuggets and 14 flavors of pretzels. That doesn't mean that every flavor Dumbald has attempted has been a success. My first and foremost that I loved to have done was chocolate chip, but, but we couldn't work that out. It just kept melting so much. Fortunately, the peanut butter nugget with chocolate drizzle seems to satisfy the chocoholic clientele. As business has grown, new products have come online. We, we do sticky buns, pretzel buns, wheat buns, uh, dinner rolls. Uh, we're just getting into steak rolls now, some. Additional products are all based around that pretzel dough recipe that Dumball developed in 1999. We do have three types of dough, but uh, for the most part, our pretzel dough itself is the basics for most of our products. While there is a retail counter at the Mifflinburg location, DNL is primarily a wholesale operation. Their products are available at a number of places, from stores to restaurants, farm markets to concession stands at sporting events. We serve stores, campgrounds, uh, bowling alleys, legions, mm -hmm. you name it, you want it, you get it. School fundraisers are also a big part of their business. They have made a thousand nuggets in a day to satisfy a recent school fundraiser. That's a lot of nuggets. The cyclical nature of their business means that Dumbald's customer base shifts about every three months. Uh, we deal a lot with schools that deal with the uh, football, soccer, and that in the fall. Then that rotates into uh, wrestling, basketball. Then we swing around and then in the uh, spring we do baseball some softball and uh, track. Depending on the time of year, DNL makes deliveries as far south as Halifax, all the way up to Williamsport and out to State College. In addition, devotees of DNL pretzels come from all over just to get their fix. We do have people that have traveled fairly regular uh, from York, uh, Williamsport, Danville, and uh, State College. The Garden Club it's out in uh, Lewistown. Mm -hmm. They go over to Carriage Corner for a restaurant and their quarterly meetings. And they come over here and you know, the bus leaves fairly packed. <laughs> if you need any further enticement to stop by the Mifflinburg location, keep this in mind. I'm working right now on uh, about two or three new products. Uh, we tried a couple samples. We're going to eventually start slow and introduce it to the shop and see how it goes uh, and then work it into production. That's right, you might be lucky enough to help DNL as they test market new items. That sounds like a great idea to our favorite intern, Tony. 
In an average week, DNL will go through a ton of flour. Literally, one ton. Everything is baked fresh daily, but that doesn't mean the leftovers go to waste. Nuggets and the pretzels, they're done at the end of the day. Right. We, have a, we have an outsource for them. Uh, some things we donate to some things. Uh, we donate other things to like TD cats of the world. Mm -hmm. They use it to feed their deer, their bears, things oh. like that. Uh, instead of just throwing it out. Sure. So it, that was a win-win for everybody. The day starts early for Dumbald's 10 employees. They start at four in the morning baking the day's orders. On the day we visited, they were already hard at work on the pretzels. These come in two sizes, by the way, regular, and then the pretzel they affectionately refer to as the pounder. Nuggets, rolls, and pretzel buns were also on the menu. Don't you wonder how long it takes them to learn to twist the dough that easily? You can get DNL soft pretzels at their Mifflinburg retail location, or you can also find their products at Ards in Lewisburg, Schrader's in Penns Creek, Rohrbach's Farm Market in Elysburg, and the Lewisburg Farm Market. DNL soft pretzel nuggets, right here in your neighborhood. Wednesday nights at 7 and Saturday and Sunday afternoons at 1 for In Your Neighborhood, exclusively on CATV Channel 8.